Here is my 16-in-1 Miss Pac-Man cocktail machine. Please leave a like if you like Pac-Man games while the intro plays. How's it going everybody? My name is Jordan and welcome to Basement Collectibles. And if you like arcades, comics, movies and toys, please consider subscribing for more great content. I purchased the Pac-Man cocktail cabinet for $300. I immediately took it to a buddy's house to recap the monitor. He, I'll, he also cleaned the around the circuit board, just make sure everything was intact and did replace a couple caps. That way it helps with obviously the brightness and the colors and it also provides a better life for the monitor in the long run. And so far so good in the last two years, I've had no issues with the monitor. and It's very bright and crisp and I love having an actual CRT monitor over a flat screen that you see in most cocktail cabinets now. Just with the shape of the cocktail cabinet, the bezel itself was chipping away. I still have the original bezel. So as you can see, all the chip lines here um, on the other side on the label, it's chipped away too. The glass itself was really scratched up and I understand, right? It was in bars and restaurants for the last 30 years and even more. So I understand with the damage, but I really wanted to switch it over to a Miss Pac-Man cocktail machine. To switch it over to a Miss Pac-Man cocktail machine, I needed to replace the glass, the bezel, and the control panel artwork. I was able to find a website um, from the States that had reproduction Miss Pac-Man bezel and control panel, so I ordered that all at once for about $100 plus shipping. For the glass, I was able to find someone that would cut tempered glass, and I was able to actually hand them the uh, original glass so they could get the exact measurement. So that took about a month to finally get the piece of glass once I got the bezel and the control panel, I got to work on trying to switch the control panel, clean the joysticks, and also fix the second player button. The second player button, I guess, inside of it, the solder points came off. So I was able to get that re-soldered from a friend too. I've not wanted to solder and I didn't want to experiment on the Pac-Man machine. So I was able to get help. The arcade community is really great. So the more people I've met from buying and selling arcade machines, I've obviously kept uh, their contacts. So it was really nice for uh, people to, to help out for the control panel. With Pac-Man only having a first and second player button, the 16 in one board allows, once the game is selected, that the first player is button one and the second player is button two. With only having one side control panel, having a first and second player button though, of course, if you wanna play Donkey Kong or Galaga or any of those types of games that require at least one or two buttons, you only can play one player games. But again, I didn't mind it because this was supposed to just be more of playing Pac-Man. But again, the bonus of having another 50 games to choose from that try to use the first and second player button and it just gives my kids a chance to try those games out even though they seem really hard or a lot difficult than the games that you play now my kids don't seem to get too frustrated with the games and i know it's on free play but there's a lot of games where once you lose those three lives the game stops and it restarts you don't get to stay on that level like you know like newer games so here is the 60 in one board um, this is my spare board. I bought this for about $75 and I can leave a link in the description below as well if you're interested in something like this. So just to show you, this is where the JAMA harness connects or just the harness, sorry, for the Pac-Man cocktail machine, which controls everything. And then here is the power supply that you need um, to power up this board um, to keep, again, all the original wiring in that too. And if the CRT monitor does go out or if you don't have one, if you're starting from scratch, you can also use a computer monitor. So this gives you the connection here. And I believe this is for the speaker audio. So just to give you an idea of this board, so again, 60 games in this. There are some duplicates, but what's neat about it too is that there's speed hacks for Pac-Man, so the actual Pac-Man is going faster than the Ghost. And what I really enjoy playing, and my definitely my kids, my wife, is the Pac Miss Pac-Man game where instead of the dots, there are hearts on it, so they get a kick out of that. So there is some modded games on it as well as close to the original as possible. Again, all these games are emulated, so they're not 100% exact, but for the casual um, person playing, and that's all it's for, right? Um, if I'm having parties, or just for the kids and I, we just wanna play. It's just really fun, don't take it too seriously. But um, you know, there is some audio issue in some of the games, so if you're expecting this to be perfect, it's not. But uh, again, for 75 to $100 for this board, um, it's not a bad way of uh, getting those uh, 60 some odd games to play. 
There's also a setting that you can go through each game and you can decide on how many lives and also the difficulty of the game, So, which is great. So I just went through and most of the Pac-Man games, I gave five lives um, just to play a little bit longer. And it does keep this high scores as well. So that's nice too. It's just the front end menu sound. If you have one of these, I'm sure you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Turn that off immediately. The sound just replays itself and it's almost like a techno style music to it. And it's really loud and obnoxious. So I can't see anybody ever having that front end sound playing while you're choosing the game. But let me know in the comments below if you actually like the music. So all in on this machine with buying the cocktail cabinet, getting the monitor recapped, buying new glass, getting the bezel, the control panel, flat black paint, again, to do the coin door and some touch-ups and spraying the clips as well. I'm about $525 into this machine, but I think it's well worth it. I'm definitely going to be keeping this for the long run. It fits perfectly on the side wall in my basement and it's nice table um, too when someone's not playing, if they need to put their drink down on that, I have no issues with that. Again, it's meant to be played and enjoyed and I'm sure at uh, pizza places and the arcade, um, there's been lots of beer and pops built on it um, while cleaning out the control panel There's definitely a lot of rust in the four-way joysticks from all that liquid going into it So try to put a coaster down and play the part, but uh, knock on wood uh, I've never had a spill on the machine yet But uh, we've had a ton of fun playing it and it's really great for parties The top vertical games we like to play are of course Miss Pac-Man and all the other Pac-Man games the three Donkey Kong games the two Dig Dug games, there's Galaga, and there's also Burger Time. Really enjoy Burger Time, really difficult. Most of these games are really difficult, um, but when I have a chance to play, or at least play two players, of course we always play Pac-Man games for two players, but I really enjoy Donkey Kong and skip Donkey Kong 2 into more of Donkey Kong 3, but those are the games right now that we're playing. I'm sure I'll get into more, but right now that's what we focus on or at least I feel like I know what I'm doing, but uh, it's really nice again to explore other games that I've never heard of um, if I didn't have this 16-in-1 board. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cocktail arcade game was growing up from either the pizza place, donut shop, or even the arcade. Again, for us, it was Miss Pac-Man, but uh, with the other 59 games, a lot of more games are growing on us, especially Donkey Kong and that. But I really appreciate uh, everybody watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. To be entered to win this CGC 9.8, Darth Vader number three, the first appearance of Dr. Afra. all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, comment and like in any of my videos. Good luck, everyone.